So let's talk about this. It's been about 20 days since demonstrators packed into the part of Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood, creating what's now known as the Capitol Hill Organized Protest, or CHOP. It was created in response to the death of George Floyd, and demonstrators blocked off Seattle's East Precinct, calling for an end to police brutality and for the city to defund the police department, among other requests. Well, the city tried to take action on Friday, bringing in trucks and front loaders to remove these barriers, but those crews uh, left after they were met with protests like this person right here. Now, they are expecting to try again today, and that is why we sent King Fives Britt Moore down there. You're in Capitol Hill right now with a look at what's happening. I know it's early, but have you seen any changes, Britt? Uh, well, really, the chop zone has kind of transformed. I do want to point to just the mood so far this morning. It, it is calm and quiet. Much of the artwork that was here in this area is now gone this morning. Uh, much of what remains are the barricades in front of the East Precinct and the barricades along uh, 10th and Pine. Now, this morning, we've noticed, for the most part, empty streets. A large chunk of the barricades that were placed here in the Capitol Hill area are gone. All that's left are tents right around the precinct and tents inside Cal Anderson Park. Now, in a statement sent to King 5 yesterday, the Seattle Department of Transportation did not give any information about the details of today's barricade removal, but instead pointed to the mayor's action steps to create more access in this area. It's a tried and failed process that kicked off on Friday when protesters blocked SDOT crews from moving into the CHOP area. Now, that led to Mayor Durkin meeting with demonstrators to strike some sort of deal. The mayor's office, again, they have said uh, that police will not re-enter the East Precinct this weekend. Meanwhile, protesters say uh, their demands are still being worked out and negotiations are underway. For now, we are live in Seattle this morning. Britt Moore, King 5 News.